On this episode of Farm Power TV, I will be taking you step by step procedures on disassembling a Stainadine Rosemaster injection pump, model DBG. So please stick around, stay tuned, and hope you enjoy the show. Penetrating oil help bust her loose. <laughs> Alright, don't worry about the seals if you lose those because this kit should come with a new, yeah, it's got new seals in her. Mixture made up, we got the diesel fuel, gasoline, and the super clean. Got it all mixed in there. Now we'll go ahead and let this little trick pump smudge it in there really good. Want this thing covered. That help. Kind of like a car dip kit. You can use that as well. Use whatever works best for you. Uh, I always use diesel fuel, clean stuff with gas. I know is very hot stuff to mess with. Get that stuff on your arms; it'll start burning. But 
go ahead and put your injector pump bolts in there too let them be soaking as well and then it blow those out and they'll clean it up really good so we'll go ahead and let this set I might one point in the night flip it around and then we'll let it soak again on the other side and anything might fall off okay it's day two of the injector pump rebuild let it set soaking diesel fuel gas super clean overnight uh, now I'm going to go ahead and get it out and then we're going to brush it up really good get it good and clean before we start tearing it apart so let's see what we got Sure you get drained off all the fuel and stuff that you built. Yeah, she turned it. So what I got here, just a little steel brush. It's got steel bristles. So I'm going to go through and scrub it up. Be careful around this tag, you don't want to damage your numbers and stuff. Might call for some bad trouble. You ain't got to worry about getting stuff in the hole because the plus side is you're going to be getting inside the hole so best clean it now then as you're taking it apart you won't have as much filth to deal with
must suck it down to penetrate in order to clean it, so it'll start getting in the grooves as you're scrubbing. Alright, now I've got an SD card in my camera now, but SD card ran out of, I guess, storage, so I had to go ahead and finish up a video, upload it, then delete recent footage, so that way I can make room for this footage, so now, and I got my mic back on too, uh, <clears throat> now, I back to scrubbing on this. I'm using a steel wool or steel bristle <clears throat> steel bristle brush. Yeah I did want went on ahead and soaked this back in the diesel fuel mixture. Well, that cat came off pretty good. Why, Rat, how many times have I told you to wash up after weekly cross burning? <laughs> See, it's coming off. Well, I got it cleaned up best I could. A lot of these tight crevices be hard to get to with the linkages on it. So I'm going to go ahead and take this cap off. Alright, 
get the screws get those out of the way this cap should pop up and see there's a lot of carbon build up and oh god a lot of dirt in there Next thing I'm gonna do, pop this little spring thing off. There we go. And this particular clip come right out after you fight with getting her out you should be able to start taking these out alrighty and you get both of these parts out Next thing is take this piece. It's one of these one size fits all tools. Be alright. Yeah, she do. <laughs> okay, next thing you want to do, you got your kind of your governor tension spring here, and there's a bolt that threads here. And it's got a long shank on it, so you want to pop that loose next. Kind of try to keep these together so you'll kind of see how it goes back together as you're putting it back together. Next is this fun part here. Oh. Well, good old penetrating hole. back and forth here well be careful not bend any of this stuff there's a spring underneath this you want to be careful not to lose it I think there might be a new spring we'll worry about that when I get to that point and that's your next objective. Get me out. Hey, you got all this crud here. I still got my bucket of diesel fuel, so I'm going to give her a rinse. Alright. I'm gonna 
grab my steel wool, go ahead and kind of clean out this cavity because she's still pretty nasty looking. As you're doing this stuff, make sure you wear safety glasses. I had a teacher at tech school told us they're called birth control glasses. If you wear them on a date, you ain't getting any. thought you might want to know and yeah that's my phone Make this one stuff, it's called contact cleaner. That stuff works absolutely amazing. Hey, I just ran out. Tell you what, give it all of it. No straw. Oh yeah. Now, the bucket yeast for your jacker pump. Have it sitting in with diesel fuel and stuff. Might want to go ahead and put this thing in it too. But she's going to need a good soaking. Especially if it's as bad as that one. You'll definitely need a good soaking. I'm sure some of y'all are probably watching and like, there ain't no way you're gonna see that injector pump. That thing's just plumb gone. Well, you'd be amazed. All right, next you wanna take these screws out. They're kind of bleed screws. But they also hold this in.
to have a good pair of vice grips. We'll help get her broke loose. We want to take this bottom cap off. Ain't part cake with dirt. Try to hammer it in there. That'd be something. fight me for there we go side plates off don't lose the screws and don't lose the plate the gasket you get a new one with the kit so and don't strip them out either Screwdriver is kind of bent, so I'm gonna grab a different one. Well, it's a little straighter. There we go. And pop the old plate off here. <laughs> Don't throw away your stuff just yet because you want to save it to match up, but that that's pretty bad. Uh, there you go. That's pretty bad. And look at this lovely pile of crap that's in there. So next, we'll get the other side. Yeah, she's pretty bad. Now, at least there ain't much crud on this side. But this would be the side you'd be looking because right there's your timing mark. Uh, probably can't really see that too well. But uh, I don't know. Uh, Battery's dead on that. Grab my little flashlight here. Be kind of like a timing mark. You barely see it, but that would be where you'd be reading your timing. Okay. I just heard a beeping sound. Oh well. Oh. Might need to take that off too. Alright, before my other SD card or SD card finally 
filled up. I want to have it swapped out for another SD card. So, and if you hear that <clears throat> noise coming on and off, that's my furnace. So, just please ignore that sound. So, anyways, on this injection pump, got right into the issue with that, but I right, got. 7 16th wrench. You need some kind of thin wall to get this uh, other bolt out. Because it's pretty thin, or pretty narrow gap right there between it and the pump assembly. Alright, that come out. Oh, yeah. She does. Come on out. There we go. Alright. Now, I'm hoping this here ain't. This here should be going through this roller here, so that shouldn't be holding me up quite yet. Now here's my favorite part. Taking all of this here, the whole body. Out. You don't want to have it down like this if you want to like tap it, because if you have it down like this, the pilot bushing here, which I'll be replacing that. I do have an extra one over here. So it wouldn't matter for me, but if you don't plan on replacing that, maybe get like a block of wood or something so you won't be driving this pilot bushing in. If you drive it in and you throw it off and you could wind up hitting your governor or, well, basically you'd be hitting your governor. Get out of the way. Right. Now you want to do light taps. You don't want to do any hardcore taps. Which... Sleep. Here it comes. So there's extra noise to this video we get to listen to. That static sound, that's sleep. So enjoy. Oh, you hear on Farm Pirate TV, we get to hear sleep on the video. Let me bounce off. <laughs> Hey, I hate one. Ah, broke release. Yeah, take that. What I got here was well, a 30 millimeter, so it's probably about like a inch, inch and eight. For this pump here, and it should help you drive that out. Gonna be caution because there is springs on the plungers and there's also these little cabinets in here. And all that came out. But you see there's a spring that go in through the side without the stud. The spring go, well, this little cap here 
We'll go on to the spring. And then you got one of these little detent plates. One go on up against this plunger. And then the other one right up against this uh, piece that's just unthreaded out. So let's try to keep these together here. Kind of in their own world. Alright, so now if I'm lucky, I might be able to get an extension and shove up in there. But there's a reason that this is called Farm Power TV. Not only we do farm power stuff, but we also use farm tools like this pitch pin. Might be able to stick that up in there. That. That would have boogered up the threads anyway. What about this? Don't try to hit around the holes, and this is kind of like beating the corners here or this edge, but. She's almost there. Wait. be a mess. Alright, now we've got the body off of the internals. Good God. This don't look too good. Oh, well, can't really see too well. Got my handy dandy flashlight that I got in my pocket here. So, what I'll probably do that's some aluminum brightener. So here's some aluminum brightener, uh, Napa Max uh, 1458 part number. Uh, Now what this is, it's an acid. So you don't want to get on your clothes, you don't want to get on anything that's like cloth and stuff. Uh, don't use your hands in the solution or anything that, especially get any cuts. Wear gloves. And wear birth control glasses. And the, the governor, you can tell it's like pretty rusty and nasty looking. So, I want to let this soak in my diesel fuel solution. The body on this is going to soak in some acid. For, you don't want to leave it in there too long because then it'll start growing start getting on your metal as well and you don't want really to do that and it look like the rest of this 
That's pretty nasty too. There you got your rotor pump. It's kind of like a rotor pump here. And then the back part, you got like a vein pump. And that's where it'd be going out to your injector lines to your injectors. So I need to take the snap ring off. I want to see what I got. That did look good. Put some Lucas pear tree oil on it. That really helped. Oh, there's my little scrub brush. Oh, there it is. It's down here. Ta da! I need a hat somewhere. Now, this, I did put some of that aluminum brightener in it. And my uh, bird control glasses, we're going to pretend I'm wearing them. And my gloves, I'm wearing those too. Just pretend I'm wearing them. But no, seriously, if you're messing with this stuff, really do wear protective stuff. Spray myself off. That's a good old Lucas parts cleaner. He, I seen these at O'Reilly's yesterday on the shelf. That's when I was I was cleaning up my computer when I got home. And I went to work and then stopped at O'Reilly's. I wanted to look up some paint for the Bronco and the motor. Didn't really have any luck because the guru, gurus there, they're not really gurus, unfortunately. They can't even find a paint book. And then the one paint book they found, they're like, oh, this is it. And they asked me what year it is for the paint code. I was like, why does that matter? It's a paint code. Just look it up. I used to work there. I know how to do this stuff. But bumper to bumper, they offer the same stuff. It might be a little better. That, maybe I need to go there where they got the right paint people there. May I sneak off and work and go look? Nah, I probably won't. If I get a thousand subscribers on this vid or from this video, if I get a thousand subscribers, I sneak off from work and go look up a paint code and see what it is. I'm taking a chance I'm getting fired here, people. But I bet I won't get a thousand subscribers off of this video, but why are you fighting me? Just come on out of there. Well, look what I found. Okay, well, got me a light hung up here, so I figured I'd get us a little more light on the subject, and that is the ejection pump.
Đâu ơi Ủa xui Swap these around That'll make life a little easier when you gotta go the right way. Alright. Got her off. Now let's see how bad this stuff looks. There we go. So bad it rested to it. Yeah, so that's going in the solution. This is going in the solution. I might need to leave this up here. And I hope I don't tip it over. That would be bad. <clears throat> that would be very bad. Alright. Get off. Okay, that rotor is like pity. Oh, oh this is bad. It's all bad. So it looks like I'm gonna be ordering some parts off of Amazon or eBay or Tractor Joe. Uh, there's a I think Snyder Tractor Parts. I got some stuff. There's Ethylene. I can go on with some resources. Oh, but first thing. I forgot about this little guy. Yeah, he just kind of like bolts right through. Hey. Alright, it's going to shut off here on me in just a second, okay? So just beware. Still recording, and I'm still messing with this thing getting it come loose. Alrighty, and unscrewing that. The bit was stuck. Alright. Yay. Now you got these rollers here, both sides. This is like rusted to it. They're supposed to spin in there, but it's so rusted and pitted, it's unbelievable. Like I said, the guy who told me there's nothing wrong. Well, I got this injector pump. I was like, yeah, go. This thing. He must have got it off the Titanic. And you know what? I think I'm right. That came off. There's supposed to be a little... Yeah, they're in there little square key things that has the grooves cut out for the rollers and uh, it's just all rusted to it. But it won't be long. We're going to have all this together and it's going to be a, a, a dream 
Craigslist injection pump. Trust me. That's what I should have done. Just spray painted it and be like, yep, ready to go. Thank you, Craigslist. Facebook Marketplace. Big shout out. If I can get it broke loose, I'll show you. Alright. Okay, here's those pieces I'm telling about. It's kind of like grooved out. This roller goes in there, but this thing is so pitted bad. That, that, they done seen their last run. These are kind of one of the main causes why your injection pump is weak. Another thing that causes your injection pump to be weak is on the governor. I just threw it in the Oh, here it goes. Okay, this thing did not run at all because the flex ring is gone. Which, as I'm putting it together, I'll show you. But this here is supposed to go, the plate is supposed to go on there. To, see, it's like, it's got the grooves cut out for this shaft, and then your injection pump shaft will go through this. The flat screen, that's my other favorite part that I like about this pit. So I, when you put it back together, I'll show you. Alright. I'm going to properly dispose of this rack here, it's got diesel fuel and gas and all the other harmful chemicals for the environment. I'm going to dispose of it very safely in this bar over here. Okay, I think the rest of it would be off the back side of this, so... I'll start taking this back cover off. You want to bite me too? I think this is already loose. Nope. Nope. It was tight. They had the little wire thing goes wraps through it. We'll put these guys over here. Put this back over here. Uh, she's coming.
Okay. Now. flashlight quick going out but uh there is kind of like a little retainer snap ring you pull that out and these will come apart on the inside and then that should just drop it right out just have there it is Alright, I'm going to pull it out and show you all. And here's this. That's a retainer snap ring. Get my plan I'm going right here. Ah! See what I beat my luck? I knocked over that. Put that there. And next, these internals should come apart. So, idiot. show y'all these little guys that the retainer was holding. This is what you've seen on the inside. Then there's these little half moon pieces here. These clips that go on there and that retainer ring went around them and held them. That's all it is that holds them. That and this washer here underneath. That keeps it from going down, maybe. I don't know. No, there ain't no washer. 
Dangerous stuff here, and go dispose of this in the park. Okay. Now, is there anything holding that in there? These are just basically just little ports, like a tunnel system, ports, all left in this body here, and that broken stud. So I'm going to get this cleaned up real good and get everything else soaking and cleaning and order some more parts well be, that'll do it on this video next video when I get everything else in we'll get it all put back together and hope for the best Next time on Farm Power TV, I'll be reassembling and rebuilding the standard down Rose Master injection pump. So stay tuned and look out for my next episode. Thank you.